want to let you all know that in this issue of migrant uh, asylum seekers that I have uh, submitted a letter of proposal to the Honorable Alejandro Mayorkas, who's the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. And uh, this puts into writing specific things that I've referenced uh, before when we've talked about this issue. Uh, Westchester is calling for, and we're not alone in this, but other uh, places have uh, joined in the same uh, advocacy, that we want to see a federal field immigration court established in Westchester County. We have a U.S. courthouse here in White Plains. That's the perfect location for it. If there's any additional court space that's needed, the federal courthouse sits in a complex that includes state courts and local courts as well, right here in downtown White Plains. This would allow uh, immigration uh, judges to be on duty and to handle those cases of individuals that may be placed in Westchester or anywhere else in the Hudson Valley <coughs> and ensure speedy adjudication of their cases, adjudication of their cases. And that's important because if, um, if uh, migrant asylum seekers are to have a successful outcome uh, and be uh, dealt with uh, in an appropriate fashion, we cannot have them awaiting uh, cases over a year, two years, whatever these numbers are that we've heard. That's just not an attainable situation. If the federal government, which has failed to address this issue of immigration, is going to address it uh, forthrightly, then one of the things that we believe they need to do is to, to create this proposed, uh, proposed satellite court presence, which will uh, help those people have a determination on their asylum status in a uh, rapid way and, and move this on. This would alleviate the strain on existing immigration courts, reduce the backlog of, of cases. What we've also highlighted in our communications to Secretary Mayorkas uh, is the essential need of having a much speedier process for work uh, permit for these individuals who are housed here. At this point, we still have only uh, about 60 units, uh, 58 units in Yonkers at one particular location. There are no other placements in the county. I've heard all sorts of rumors, by the way, uh, and, and they're inaccurate. Uh, I'm going to assume that a person is passing on something they think is true, uh, but uh, rather than someone who knows it's not true but says it purposefully in a lie. So I'm going to assume it's, uh, it, it, it's a mistaken point of view that allows them to repeat uh, that there are other places that are doing this. We have one location for which New York City um, migrant asylum seekers have been placed in Westchester at this point. There's some that have been placed elsewhere in the state now, from Albany uh, through Dutchess County and Orange County. We've, we've talked about quite a bit. But we've also argued that we want a faster timetable to provide work permits for those individuals that are here. We believe in work. We believe that uh, most of these people indicate that they're here to work and that there are jobs that are unfilled at the present time that those who are already here uh, don't choose to take on as jobs. Minimum paying jobs in the restaurant industry and in the uh, gardening landscape industry and that, that there's a, a way to have people gainfully employed while they're here awaiting the resolution of their asylum case. I would also say that we put priority as well on security. We uh, had a meeting recently with the uh, Brooklyn Borough President in terms of their experiences in Brooklyn dealing with this issue, and they indicated what I've seen so far, which is there have been no significant incidents at all of criminality by the people who are here, and that's important to us. We want to make sure that we protect safety of those residents who are here, and as well as the other people who've come in, so they're not preyed upon by other individuals. And um, if we can manage those things, as I said, this is a moral matter that has a managerial aspect to it, and that is what we're seeking to do. The letter to uh, Secretary Mayorkas lays out very specific things that we think are appropriate and intelligent, and we want the federal government to do their share. Uh, if Westchester is going to do its share, if other uh, places are going to do their share to try to handle this national problem uh, in absence of a national policy that effectively deals with this problem, then we need for the federal government to do these things. We, we look forward to their positive response on these matters. And of course, we'll continue to monitor this and each update uh, will be, we'll be sure to tell you what we're aware of at the stage of the game uh, in terms of the presence of this in the community, and we're working very hard to make sure that this is managed. I repeat what I've said before, we've had this experience before. In 2018, we had a thousand immigrant children housed in this county. It was done under the Trump administration at four specific locations. That was done for six to eight months and with no incidents whatsoever. It was managed. It came to an end. And, uh, you know, there was no uh, Sturm und Drang that was attached to it. And we expect that that will be the case this time as well if we manage it and we show intelligence and prudence.